Hello viewers of the People Systems channel, my name is Daniel and today we will thoroughly overview the topic of modules and extensions in a second generation high collision intercom system. We begin. Subscribe to People Systems YouTube channel and get your special offer on every deal. The second gen high vision modular intercom system consists of a three elements, the monitors, a module and the brackets up here. And if there's a monitors and brackets, everything is clear from the first glance, the modules and their features should be given some special attention. Today our task is to thoroughly overview the entire topic of a second gen modules, what they are, for which purposes, what are the features, qualities and so on. In addition, due to several special functions of some modules right here, we will focus on them a bit more. In total, the modules line consists of 8 modules, but there are only 7 in front of me. And the only one that hasn't reached me is the EM Marine Card Reader module. And well, I, I apologize for such an omission, but I emphasize neither the appearance, neither the functionality is no different from this Mether Cards module. And again, the only distinction is the supported cards format. And so uh, now we'll review each of these modules separately, but first, what do all the modules have in common? And firstly, the IP65 protection rate, where the 6 indicates the full protection against dust, and the 5 stands for protection against water jets. So either snow or rain is no threat to them. And about the interfaces. Each of them, except the main panel, has the IP switches from 1 to 8, so that we can assign every single module its unique address in the chain. And also we have here two 485 interfaces, in and out. And also a 12 volts power transmission interface is here as well. And so here are these wires used to, for connecting the modules between each other and a power transmission, this is how they look, and you can find them along a box with a bracket. More precisely, the main panel receives network and power via the LED cable from the POE switch and then distributes it to other modules via the power transfer interface and connects to them via a 485 interface. So that, so that here's a wire coming from the main module to the extension into in port and then coming from this out to transfer the power and connection to the next modules in a chain. So yeah, it actually goes right like this. We got a POE coming here from the POE switch and then we got this wire connecting this module to this, to this, and, and again, again, this one to this, and then, and then, and then, and, and that's like it. Now let's start with the foundation. This Dophone and all of these other modules are extension for this framework. In fact, a very familiar device almost doesn't differ from any other dual phones. 2 megapixel full HD camera module with a huge fish eye view angle of 180 degrees. With the infrared edge in right here, so get a nut vision and live motion detection with alerts if needed. The microphone is here, the speaker, the call button, which is usually bended to the concierge, and the, or the system administrator and etc. This is where a name tag is asserted for visitors to signify where will the call go. At the back we have Tampa, two connectors for locks, as well as four inputs for security sensors. The phone is powered and receives a network from the POE switch, and then it can output 12 volts to the modules from itself. A little later we'll pay attention to this detail. And by the way, the number of modules supported by one panel is 8, so we can literally connect all the other 7 add-ons and something else on top. And well, to be fair, you cannot count the dummy for a module, and it's hard to believe that someone will include all existing modules in their system for a single inference, although it depends on the task. Now, this is the indication module for displaying status. That is, you call us, we hear you speak, and the door is open. And well, if you want to create some more convenient conditions for new visitors, and uh, that's it about this one, yeah. Now, next, this is a Mayfair card reader module, and one of the cards is put in a door phone box for the test conveniency. And as I said before, there is an identical module for reading EM marine cars that is missing here, and in all respects, the card reading format is their only difference. And so with the card reader module, we start to interact with a specific functionality of the access control system. Either a company or a living building in IVMS 4200s in the access control tab, we create an organization then a person and then assign him his personal identifier in the form of a card. 
and well, repeat that several times in a row until the required number of users is reached. What do we have next? Continuing the topic on access control, we have here a keypad module suitable for two ways of utilization at the same time. Dial the apartment number and call or either building using a public or individual password. Up next, we have a multi-person calling panel. And well, everything is clear here. We stop it with the names of people living, for example, in an apartment building. And then we tie each individual name and button under each separate apartment so that the call goes where we need it to go if we have several objects and monitors. Now, something is interesting here, a display module. In fact, it requires a keypad to work properly, so it's always a bundle of display and a keypad. And well, the question is, why do you need this one? And firstly, for displaying status, numbers, calls, and in addition, if we have a really large object, we can create up to 2000 contacts and upload all of them straight to this module, and then use the navigation keys and OK to find the required person in the list and call him instantly right from here. And uh, here's a dummy, accordingly completely non-functional and non-active element. I think it's here to fill in the empty space in the bracket if, if it has formed. We have fixed all seven modules in the brackets of the flush and surface type mount. They are connected and active, well, yeah, except a dummy, of course. And here's also two monitors for a demonstration because I want to show you uh, how does it work if there's a multiple persons to call. So this is how it looks on a back. As you can see, the alien cable coming from the POS switch goes to the main module and then it distributes this power from the door phone via the power transfer interface to the modules and also connects to them via the 485 interface using these wires. And once again, I want to mention, in such a way we can connect as much as 8 modules to one door phone. Uh, the setup and activation stages, I have already covered this topic, I leave a link to the video in the description, but initially it is amazingly simple to turn everything on and configure it and it can be even done straight from the monitor in just 4 steps. Now let's see what happens when you call. And to begin, I want to dial from using the keypad module. So as what I do, I, I got two users tied to these monitors. That's room number one, user number one, room number two, user number two. And so, yeah, one and a number sign. And we get a call right here, low in there. And right here, because I got the stuff in a hit connect as well. And so if I drop it there, it drops on all the devices. And what you have also seen now, let me call user number two and to call, receive a call in here. Then you see a status on the indicator module updates to as well. So this is what we have. Yeah, well, uh, and if we speak, and this you have two, and if we speak. Oh, oh. <laughs> But you see, yeah, yeah, it changes the active element here too and here too. All right, so we tested this out. Now the display module got two users, and let's say our uh, visitor does not know our numbers, and he just knows the name, and he knows that he is coming to Daniel. So I dial, I call, and here I'm calling the Daniel, and now I should also appear right here. I don't know why it doesn't. But whatever, uh, let's, hello there, you see, changed, changed, I don't know what the, <laughs> the call does not go here, it, it should, and also, if I open the door, this is what we have, the door is open, indication here and right here, I next, the second user will side with this monitor, open door, it's open, and I'm dropping it. Next, up next, uh, this multi-user extension, and so number one calls to Daniel, number two calls to Will, and here too. <laughs> oh, that was weird, isn't it? Uh, now a little bit of, of an access control, so if you remember, I even put it a password in here. So the password is number sign, one, two, three, three, 
four, five, six, and you see display module displays all that stuff here. Number sign. The door is open uh, because I've inputted a public password. And uh, the second type of access control is the card entry. So the door, is open. the door is open too. And this is how well it actually works. I've uh, showcased every module. And we can also, of course, go live view anytime and open the door from up open. here, from, from the up door here. Well, open. yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's sum this whole thing up. It's unlikely that anyone will purchase all the eight modules and install them all at once in one place. Of course, everything depends on your tasks and its scope. And here you have all that regular functionality that any IP intercom system offers. The live video and audio to a communication door opening. And of course, you can access all the functionality from your phone. But we also get more convenience with the indicator module, more context onto the display module, and more people available for a call with multi-contact extension, the ability to log in using two types of cards and authentication by a public and individual passwords, plus all new updated monitors that I really like. In the People System Store, we have all these modules available for you, and not that only, but also in alarm systems like the cameras and many other devices, brands, and if you indicate that you are a subscriber, we will make a more interesting offer for you. Need help, questions, descriptions of your tasks are always welcome in the comment section below and not a single one will go unanswered. Thank you for watching.